Hello and welcome to Cat Stencil. Today's topic is how to make a plot style file. All right, let's get started. So the object today is to create a plot style or a pen style file dot cd dot cdb where we can assign colors some properties so that they can print same every time that we want to plot or print. In this video we are just gonna see four colors we're just gonna work on creating four styles primarily as uh, seen on the screen black 0.0, .0 mm black 1.0 mm red 0.0, .0 mm and blue 2.0 mm um, you will see that there are a couple ways to do that and uh, uh, let's get started so we will go hit control P or type in plot they both will bring us to the same file or the same window so this window plot style table pen assignments this is what we're gonna work with so we're gonna click on the arrow go to new start from scratch as soon as I hit next you will see that we're gonna drop down the arrows here and so on and so forth click next the, we're gonna give it a file name and use this plot style table for the current drawing yes we're gonna do that uh, if we press finish this window is gonna close and if we hit this one it will bring us to editing our pen styles as soon as we click that uh, I'm sorry this came on my other screen so I just had to bring it over here and uh, what this window gives us is the colors here which range from 1 all the way up to 255 and here we're gonna use the 9010 rule we're just gonna discuss a couple of things on within all of these which will get most of our stuff done so one is color and one is the line weight so what we're gonna do essentially is assign this color that anything that we make on color one is going to print uh, for this purpose we're going to choose it as red and it will have a line weight of 0.0, .0 mm so color one red and 0.0, .0 mm the next color that we're gonna choose is we wanted it to print blue so we're gonna choose color 160 and uh, it had to be printed blue so we can use either object color or we can choose a blue in this case we're not gonna give it a line weight uh, we could but I wanted to show you something later on uh, which I will mention again so let's just go ahead and say use this uh, uh, use object line weight the other two colors were black 0.0, .0 mm and black 1.1 mm now instead of uh, choosing colors uh, like uh, choosing this color twice for both of them what I'm gonna do here is come here and click on color 40 and go down to number 70 and hit control and then click on 70 that way I have two colors selected 70 and 40 and I will give this object color to print black and then I will click anywhere I'll come back onto 40 and on 40 I will give it a pen weight of 1.1 mm I'm sorry 1.0 mm that's 40 and on the 70 I will give it 0, 0.0 mm I will hit save and close and then I'll hit finish so you will see here that we will have this cat stencil I'll hit OK oh I'm sorry it was gonna go and plot so we have chosen this we'll hit cancel for this moment Here I have created uh, beforehand a page and our different lines with different colors on it. So this is 70, 40, red, which is number one, and 160. So now we'll go ahead and do a control P for plot. DWG to PDF, this is the page size window. It's already chosen. Cat stencil, and we'll do a preview. So on this preview, we can see that 70 is printing black 
0, 0.0 mm, 40 as uh, 1 mm, red is 0 mm, and 160, it's printing default right now. And if you remember, when we were uh, doing our point CTB, we left it as object by object. So now what we are going to do is we're going to click on here and go on the line weights tab. We can go either from the, the ribbon or we can do control one or go to the properties. Just we can type in properties and it'll bring us to the same window here and we can choose uh, line weight. And uh, we'll go here, pick a 2.0 mm, control P, previous plot, preview. Now you can see that it's showing as 2.0 mm. However, if we do 2 mm on the color red, we all, on our CTB we have chosen 0, 0.0 mm. No matter what thickness we choose, it is not gonna print as the object style because we have uh, put it down as a hard and fast rule. So you see it's still printing as 0, 0.0 mm even though we changed the uh, object style or object line weight as uh, zero as 2 mm. One more thing I would like to add to the plot styles is the transparency. So when you hit a control P or plot, there is this tab which is plot transparency. If we hit this, if, if when it is off, you can see that this is, uh, you know, opaque. But if we hit this on and we do a preview, it becomes transparent. The transparency settings on these is 50%. I'll just show it to you where they are. But you can see that this is turning the yellow and pink. The combination is coming out to be orange. So all we got to do is click on the object. In the properties tab, we can go 50 or you can type in any transparency number that you want. So we have already seen 50. Um, on one we will do 25 and on the other we will do a 75. And we will see what the difference was. So this is turning out 25 which is a little bit darker and this is 75% transparency which is a little bit lighter now. Now where do we save or where do we pick these things up? Once we have created a standard, where do we get this file at? So we go here at the top left, we go to print, and we go to manage plot styles. Let me bring it from my other screen. Okay, this window will pop, uh, this window will have all our plot styles. Now most of them are default, except, except these two. All of them were default, which came in with the out of the box setup. Uh, we were using, we just created this one, so in your office or in your schoolwork or you know just for you yourself you can cop once you create your full cdb you can copy this and put it in your c drive because uh, if i'm correct every time you update your autocad or your software if it crashes or you're upgrading it it will change this location especially i think this one and then uh, your pen styles or plot styles will also go away one more thing that I would like to show you is what I came up with when I started with this office two years ago was how to have same kind of pen style settings for multiple colors because um, what we were um, running into every time is uh, we needed to see different layers on different colors but, ha but still have the same um, plot styles. What was assigned to this plot uh, dot cdb is that every line had a property so each of these colors have the same property which is it's going to print at 0.5 mm it's going to print as black and 100% is uh, uh, the you can say the opacity or the uh, not the the inverse of transparency so it's going to print all black uh, this one is 50% uh, um, I would admit that now when I will create my next uh, pen style setting, uh, this will not have the 50% setting because when I was creating this pen style, I didn't know the transparency option. So on and so forth. At the bottom, these colors are the only colors that will print as colors on our CDB. 
everything else, if there is any line work which lays here, is going to print in black. And these colors are going to print in grays. And of course, uh, this color white is going to print as black. Two more things before uh, we end this video here is that uh, when you're deciding to create or give pen styles to your colors, uh, just pay a lot of attention on which pen styles are the most used so that these colors can be those pen styles because as we go down or as we go up these colors uh, start to dim away especially or let me say majorly if you're using the ba uh, the black background in AutoCAD and uh, once you have decided that, uh, it becomes very easy to go in and edit or create your uh, pen style. So one last thing is that how do we edit once we are, uh, once we have created our pen style is this icon here. We can click this icon and reach to the same window that we started creating those uh, colors or pen styles. And then we can come in and press and hold control and select different colors or we can select one, press and hold shift, and press another color and select multiple colors. And then we can give all of these colors properties that, uh, that you uh, need or, uh, to achieve the end objective. And I would encourage you to go through all of these and see what each of these stand for or how these can be useful in your drawings. Wish you all the best and have fun. If you have any comments or questions or topics that you'd like to see in the future, please comment below. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great time.